Welcome to a great story. It will give you motivation and make your English better. Today, we will learn about Albert Einstein. He was a man who changed the world with his ideas. When you listen, pay attention to the new words. You will not only learn English, you will also learn how never giving up and asking questions can help you do great things. So get a notebook and listen carefully. Let's start this journey. It will help you listen better, learn new words, and get inspired by the life of a very smart person. Albert Einstein was born on March 14, 1879, in a small town in Germany called Ulm. His parents, Hermann and Pauline, were normal people. Hermann sold electrical parts. Pauline stayed at home and took care of the family. She loved music and learning. When Albert was born, he was not a special baby. But one thing was different. His head was very large. His family joked about it. They wondered if he would be a normal child. They did not know this boy would change the world. Albert was a very quiet child. He did not talk until he was almost three years old. His parents were worried. Some people thought he had a problem. His family called him the quiet one because he did not talk much. He was quiet even when other children were talking a lot. But Albert was not quiet because he was not smart. He was quiet because he was always thinking. He would sit for a long time and watch the world. He wanted to understand how everything worked. When Albert was five, his father gave him a gift that changed his life. It was a compass. At first, Albert did not understand how it worked. He wondered why the needle always pointed north. He became very interested in this small object. He looked at it for a long time, trying to understand the secret power that moved the needle. This was the first time Albert knew there were secret powers in the world. He wanted to find them all. Later, he said, I will always remember that moment. When Albert started school, he had problems. He did not like how his teachers taught. At that time, schools were very strict. Students had to remember everything. But Albert did not want to just remember things. He wanted to ask questions and find answers. His teachers were often angry with him. One teacher said, you are a bad student. You will not succeed in life. This made Albert sad, but he did not give up. Albert had trouble with some subjects, like languages, but he loved one subject very much, math. He said it was the language of the world. He liked solving math problems like they were games. Even though he had problems in school, his family believed in him. His mother, Pauline, saw that he loved music. She helped him learn to play the violin. At first, Albert did not like to practice. But after some time, music helped him relax and think better. His uncle Jacob also helped him a lot. Jacob loved math and taught Albert in a fun way. He told Albert, Math is like a game to find a treasure. Every problem is a hint to find the answer. This fun way of learning made Albert love numbers. Albert was different from other kids. Other kids played games, but he spent a lot of time reading books. He would think about how the world worked. He loved stories about great scientists and dreamed of making his own discoveries. One day, he asked himself, what would it be like to ride on a beam of light? That question stayed in his mind for many years. It was the start of his long journey to understand light, space, and time. 
When Albert was 15, his life became difficult. His father's business closed, so his family moved to Italy. Albert stayed in Germany to finish school. But he was sad to be away from his family. He felt alone and unhappy. Finally, he decided to leave school before finishing. He did not like the strict rules and mean teachers. So, he started to study by himself. He read books about science, ideas, and math. He taught himself everything he wanted to learn. This was a big risk. Many people thought he had ruined his future. But Albert did not worry. He believed learning was more important than following rules. At age 16, he wrote his first science paper. It was not perfect, but it showed he could do great things. He also tried to get into a very good school in Switzerland, but he failed the entrance test. He had trouble with subjects that were not science, like French and history. Instead of giving up, Albert tried again. He worked very hard, especially on the subjects he was not good at. He did not let his failure stop him. Albert's early life was full of problems. People did not understand him. He was rejected and failed many times, but he never gave up. His curiosity and his love for learning kept him going. Albert was determined to do something important with his life. He moved to Switzerland because it had a good school system. The schools there were not as strict as in Germany. Students were free to think for themselves. This was perfect for Albert. At 17, Albert tried again to get into the Swiss Federal Polytechnic School. This time, he passed. But his problems were not over. Even though he was at one of the best schools, Albert's rebellious personality made it hard for him to fit in. He loved math and physics, but was not interested in other subjects. His professors did not understand his way of thinking. Some of them disliked him because he did not follow their rules. One professor said, Einstein, you are a smart boy, but you have no discipline. Albert was not the best student. He often missed classes and studied on his own. While other students followed the lessons, Albert was thinking about bigger questions. What is light? How does time work? Why is there gravity? Most people did not have answers to these questions. During his time at the school, Albert met a young woman named Maliva Maric. She was the only female physics student. Maliva was very smart, and she also loved science. The two of them became very close. They often spent hours talking about science ideas. She became his closest friend. They dreamed of a future where they could make important discoveries together. Albert once wrote to her, Together, we will take over the world of science. But their relationship was not easy. Maliva was criticized for being a woman in science. Albert had money problems. But they supported each other and stayed focused on their dreams. In 1900, at age 21, Albert finished school with a degree in physics. He was excited to start his career as a scientist. But things did not go as planned. Albert could not find a job. He asked for jobs at many universities. But he was rejected every time. His professors did not give him good recommendations because they thought he was lazy. This was a very hard time for Albert. Think about working hard for years, only to be rejected again and again. But Albert did not give up. Instead, he took any job he could find to support himself. In 1902, Albert finally found a job. He worked as a clerk at the Swiss Patent Office. His job was to look at new inventions and decide if they were new and original. It was not a fancy job and had nothing to do with physics. At first, Albert was sad. He wanted to be a scientist, not a clerk. But instead of complaining, he did the best he could. The job gave him free time. 
he used that time to think about his science ideas. Albert started to call the patent office his thinking lab. While he was working, he would secretly write down his thoughts about light, time, and space. He was determined to follow his dream, even if it meant working late at night after his day job. In 1903, Albert married Maliva. They had a simple wedding. Soon, they had their first child, a son named Hans Albert Einstein. Even though they were happy, life was hard. Albert's small salary was not enough to support his family. They lived in a small apartment and had trouble paying for everything. Albert's friends told him to give up on his dreams and just focus on his job. But Albert refused. He said, I would rather struggle for my passion than live a comfortable life without a purpose. Even with these problems, Albert kept working on his theories. In 1905, at age 26, he published a few papers that would change the world forever. Scientists call this year Einstein's miracle year. One, the photoelectric effect. Albert explained that light is made of tiny particles called photons. This discovery later won him the Nobel Prize in physics. Two, Brownian motion. He proved that atoms exist, which was a huge discovery at the time. Three, special theory of relativity. This was his most famous work. He introduced the idea that time and space are not always the same for everyone. From this idea came the famous equation, E equals mc squared, which shows that energy and matter can be changed into each other. These papers shocked the science world. Albert Einstein, a simple clerk, with no job at a university, had just changed physics forever. After 1905, Albert's life started to change. Scientists all over the world noticed his work. He was offered teaching jobs and became a professor at several universities. Finally, his hard work was paying off. But Albert did not let success change him. He continued to ask big questions and push the limits of science. He believed there was always more to learn. Albert Einstein's journey from a struggling clerk to a world-famous scientist shows the power of never giving up. He faced rejection, poverty, and doubt, but he never let go of his passion for science. His story teaches us that, one, struggles make you great. Believing in yourself is more important than what others think. Three, Big dreams need big sacrifices. Today, his name means genius, but his story is about much more than being smart. It's about never giving up, being brave, and believing that one person can change the world. Albert Einstein's life is proof that greatness is not about being perfect. It's about being passionate, persistent, and brave enough to challenge what seems impossible. His words are still inspiring today. Try not to become a person of success, but rather try to become a person of value.